Previously on 30 in 30, we took a trip to St. Jude to see what this trip was all for. We came out with not only a fresh perspective on what we were trying to do, but also more motivation than ever. Nashville was an incredibly welcoming city, not only the first team to say yes to this crazy thing, but their fans, they were incredible. All right, it's about 3.30 in the morning and Johnny is showing me his juggling magic. I made 30 grand a year for four years of college and this is all I learned because I took an activities class for juggling, for half a credit. Shout out, um, I think Mohawk. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna shout out my professor. Okay? For the first time in a while, we headed back to the airport, this time to head to Atlanta. And no, you're not allowed to say hot Atlanta. I heard about that on the stadium tour. We back, baby. These were way too expensive. I should not have bought these. So Johnny uh, set my screen to French. <laughs> Anything to say to yourself, Johnny? Oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, I had actually bought tickets for this stadium tour because it was just one of the stadiums I really wanted to see. Because the Falcons were known to have one of the nicest stadiums in the league. But as it turned out, the Falcons, they accommodated us. Not only did we go on the stadium tour, we also got a behind the scenes look at what made everything run. And it was when we went over the bridge and saw the stadium for the first time that Johnny and I audibly said, wow. Just from the outside, you could tell that this stadium was different. It was state of the art, it was unique, and it was something like we have never seen before on this tour. We walked into the stadium and were immediately taken aback at the scale of this entire thing. A big shout out to Brenda, Steven, and Juan for an amazing tour. And I know on a lot of these videos, we've been talking about the teams and the history, but here, the stadium took center stage. And it seemed the theme of this tour was sustainability. For example, they had 4,000 solar panels outside, and that was enough to power nine Falcons games and 13 Atlanta United games. Which by the way, Atlanta loves their soccer team. But that's not all. This entire stadium was meant to benefit the city of Atlanta. Whether it's hosting major events in which they can seat up to 83,000 people, or it's actually protecting the city, making sure no waste actually goes into the city of Atlanta. And boy oh boy, do they take their waste seriously. They break up their waste after every single event into three categories, compost, recycling, and only 10% going into a landfill. Whether it's the 1.1 million gallon reservoir in which they use runoff water to power their plumbing, their toilets, which by the way, this stadium has more women's restrooms than men's, simply because the lines are usually longer. Heck, even their seats are made out of recycled plastic. So when it comes to this stadium, they've thought about everything. And that's just the sustainability portion. Now let's talk about the fan experience. We mentioned the bathrooms, yes. But in 2016, before this stadium was even finished, back in the Georgia Dome, Arthur Blank wanted fan input on what was going to be different about this new stadium. And the fans said, we wanted lower pricing. And that's where fan first pricing came to be. Not only were they the first cashless stadium in the NFL, but when you come to this stadium, you can feed a family of four for under $30. And heck, if you want a soda, you can just refill your cup. In addition, we saw what was probably the craziest suites yet. Right behind the benches in these beautiful suites, you could watch all of the action and it's an arm's length away. But this stadium is not just built with Atlanta in mind. It is built for Atlanta. You can see it all over the stadium, whether it's the artwork or it's the 8,000 shoestrings that represent all the high school colors in the area. Greenbrier High School representing. I, I didn't make the football team, but <laughs> I went there. Shouts out Evans, Georgia, class of 20. What, what year did I graduate? And it was only after we were leaving that Johnny and I turned to each other and said, that might be the best stadium we've seen yet. This stadium was designed for Atlanta and for the fans. 
Whether it's the ring of honor acknowledging and celebrating the past, or it's looking towards the future and what might come next, this stadium is ready for it all. It was after that that I made my way to Pascal's because we had a fan event. A big shout out to them for hosting this because they had a lot of parties going on and they also had a whole bunch of football fans outside. And the thing that struck me about this fan event was just how friendly everyone was towards each other. The entire time while people are waiting, everybody was talking to one another. They were reminiscing about old games. They were talking about potentially going to games together. And it really just felt like there was a community here. And of course, I had opportunities to speak to Falcons fans and ask them about their team and their city. What the Falcons mean is more than just a sports team. It's like whenever, whenever anything's doing well, the Braves winning the World Series or the Hawks going to the playoffs or sometime soon, hopefully, the Falcons winning the Super Bowl, you know, it's like the whole city just goes ballistic. With this team being the first South East team in the NFL, you had a lot of people from college suddenly latch on. It's like, suddenly we have a professional team and they've just stayed the course through the entire history of this team. It's just, it feel like family. Heck, I even met a former Falcons cheerleader. I loved the team back then. Um, I've grown to love them even more. Wanted to pass that on to my son. And so I had season tickets, took him to games. We still have an alumni association, which we perform uh, every other year and are able to get out there as old as we are. Let's go. And <laughs> This was my first time in Atlanta. And honestly, I didn't get to experience everything that I wanted to. But what I did experience blew me away. The fandom was incredibly passionate. And not just for the Braves, who are this national team. But there were Falcons fans there. And yes, they have gone through trials and tribulations. But after talking with fans, seeing the stadium, it became very clear that Atlanta and the Falcons are ready to rise up. A reminder that there are two ways to donate to St. Jude, either on every video through the donate button on YouTube or in the link in the description. Both go to the same place. I appreciate you all. Charlie.